Welcome back to Living Local. The people behind Bishop Hill Creative Commons believe that every child is an artist and every adult can also tap into creativity. The Community Hub offers classes for guests of all ages to experience the many benefits of art. Today I am joined by Yelena Tudorovich with Bishop Hill Creative Commons. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So first of all, what is your background in art? So I grew up in Bishop Hill, actually. Um, I had wonderful art teachers mm -hmm. growing up. In junior high, I decided I really just wanted to pursue it. Um, I went to the School of the Art Institute in Chicago, mm -hmm. and I've been an art teacher for 21 years. Wow. This so, year, so. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, As thanks. you reflect on the many years that you've been an art teacher, uh, what do you enjoy the most about it? What's so rewarding about it? I love, since I love art myself, I love being able to share that with other mm -hmm. people. Um, especially kids, because I think it's really important to see kind of the magic happen and like really get into creating. Um, so yeah, we, I, I love creating experiences where kids get to make those aha moments. And why do you believe that every child truly is an artist? I think we all start out as it. I see it even, you know, little from little, mm -hmm. the first things we do, coloring, making marks, which is what we're gonna be doing today. And I think that as you grow older, you kind of go away from that. Right. Um, junior high-ish, we kind of get more self-conscious. Sure. People usually dip off at that point. So um, yeah, basically once you get to, you know, adulthood, I think that you either have confidence in it or not. And I'm hoping to inspire other people and try and get people to see how art can can really help you. Yeah, art is such a valuable form of self-expression and really truly can be not only just fun, but also therapeutic. And Absolutely. so um, we are gonna be tapping into some creativity today. So Yelena, what are we creating? So we are gonna be creating butterfly and hummingbird mixed media pieces. They're basically paintings, but we've got some fun, um, cool cutouts and things that we can create here as well. Wonderful, so yeah, I see some flowers, some butterfly cutouts there. Yes. Um, so what's the first step? So we have canvases mm -hmm. that we prepped here, just with a plain coat of paint. And now what we're gonna do is just make some marks, which like I said, every every kid can do this. <laughs> if a kid so, can do it, absolutely. Should be able to, I should be able to do it. So what okay. you're gonna do, I have different like stamping tools oh. here that you go ahead and pick one up. Okay. And what we're trying to do is just create kind of crazy, crazy color combinations. Um, I love to work with bright colors. I just think. Same, look at yeah. us, we're like all dressed bright. I am the same exact way. I love brightness. So, especially in the summer. Yes. Um, so we're using kind of organic shapes. Um, sometimes I use actually plants Ooh. and natural materials to make these marks. And what this is going to do is going to create an under layer for um, painting similar to this here. Oh, I see that. Look how beautiful that little butterfly picture is. So all these little things just are going to pop up and you can pick what you want to emphasize in your final piece. And so right now we're just kind of layering on the different textures and the different colors onto the canvas. And I'm already loving my piece. <sighs> and it's just, it's fun to do. It's like so, it's so rare I feel like when you're an adult that you just play. We yes. forget the yes. art of play. Yes. And I think that's so important to keep alive. Absolutely. And we try to, I, yeah. I try to encourage people to kind of step outside your comfort zone, but this is a great way to kind of get comfortable with it. When we have classes, we love to have people, if you want to bring your friends, if you don't have anybody that wants to come with you, come by yourself. We have such a, it's just a really nice vibe that goes on when you're creating art with people. Oh, it's so true. It's such a great way Perfect. to Perfect, you're doing Are great. Are you loving Perfect. this? I'm loving this. I mean, Perfect. the color, you just know my soul because you brought <laughs> the most beautiful, bright neon colors awesome. known to mankind. So awesome. this is looking gorgeous. Try a little bit of the okay. stencil, which is really pretty. It's got some flowers that Ooh. you can paint over, you could stamp onto it. Probably need a neutral color in here, you know. A Does little it, bit a of little white. Bit, a little bit of white. Can't go wrong with white you in really a floor. Um, 
So, so as yeah. we continue to do this, um, awesome. we're kind of layering some paint on. We're getting a lot of depth and texture and definitely color here. Uh, so after we kind of get the, the base ready to go, yes. what's the next step? So with this, I do, I use this technique with a lot of my paintings, um, which you can see here. Yeah. You see a lot of texture, a lot of different colors. In these paintings, there are a lot of layers that I use, um, which are going to peek through. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be picking a butterfly or a hummingbird or both. Ooh. And this is the cool thing. So this is just tissue paper, yeah. but it's got like a little metallic sheen to it. And what we are going to do, since our canvas is wet, the white tissue paper is just going to blend into the paint. So I'm going to just kind of dab it on there and I am going to spray it and it melts away. Oh my goodness. So kind of just spread it out. Uh -huh. Now we can go back in and paint over and kind of make your outline pop out a little bit. Yeah. Add some details to it. Um, if you want, we have like really fun colors and shapes. Yeah, give me little a goodies. couple of those yeah. butterflies. Give me another one. Some flowers. Ooh, oh yes, let's do a flower right about there. You go. There. Here's a little hummingbird. Yes. We're having a hummingbird festival in Bishop Hill in August. Oh, perfect. So this is kind of a fun, um, fun way to incorporate that. All right, Helena, Yelena, can yes. you hand me the water? Yes. I'm gonna spray this down, or you can help me out there. There you go. Just kind of damp it. Okay. Uh, this is acrylic paint, and acrylic paint basically is plastic. So when it dries, it's going to turn into plastic. Perfect. And then you How said about one outlining it. Do you want yes. one of these guys? Let's do one of the big ones. This is kind of a fun one. Do you want that one? Oh, this is exactly what I need on my painting for sure. Now, is it okay if it kind of goes off the Absolutely. side? Absolutely. And I have some matte medium, which is like a glue. Mm -hmm. So that will help. Now this is a, a multimedia canvas project. What are some other examples of artwork that you do? So. Like I said, I like to do this technique a lot when I'm teaching, and I teach a class at least once a month at the Commons yeah. as a member, which is pretty awesome. Um, I also have, I would like to do a journal class, which is very similar, but you're painting on paper, wow. which will give you a great start for kind of a blank canvas where you can go back in and create anything. You're just drawing, doodling, great stress reliever, great way to get into an art practice, which is wonderful. Um, so that's one of the things I'd like to do. Pet portraits, I've had people, Ooh. this is one of my pet portraits that I've painted. <gasps> um, and I'd like to share that, because I pet portraits everybody loves. Um, 100%, so. I need to do one of my Chewini Wendy. I'm definitely, if you, if you do a class, I for need sure. to know, because I need to sign up, absolutely. For sure. So how can people get signed up for these classes? So we're on Facebook, um, Bishop Hill Creative Commons. Um, we just have a lot of events that pop up. We have a couple now. We have a Shibori um, dying uh, class that's going to be coming up also. Just all different because we all have all different artists at the Commons. So true. Well, Yelena, so, thank you so much for this demonstration. Thank you. And I'll have to uh, finish this in the commercial break. We so appreciate you being Absolutely. here, sharing your passion and your creativity. Thank you. All right, you guys, for more information, you can find Bishop Hill Creative Commons on Facebook. We'll also have those details posted on ourquadcities.com. More Living Local continues after this break. Stay with us.